Hello everyone, and um, welcome back to more Pokemon Leaf Green. My name is Matthew Aran, and here <clears throat> I am out on Route 11, I think this is. Route 6, excuse me. But I'm out on Route 11 looking for Pokemon. I'm looking for a Rattata, actually. Now, this is not a Pokemon I'm going to use on my team, but. Oh, actually, how do I. <laughs> But this is not a Pokemon I'm going to use on my team, okay? I can't be the- okay, here we go. Um... Hmm. Alright, I guess we're going back to the Simulator City. Excuse me. Oh, I forgot, you can't go in there. <laughs> But this is not a Pokemon I'm going to be using on my team. You know, there are some Pokemon that you can you know, use for practical uses. So yeah, I'm going to be catching me a Radisson. I already said that. Alright. So we found one. And, uh... I'm gonna try our best not to kill it because it's a level 10. I should have caught one of these sooner, actually. <coughs> but, better late than never. And you miss. Good job, Timothy. Oh. So, I hope this doesn't take like too long. This is going to take at least two minutes because I want to go ahead and get on with the gym. And I'm so quiet here. I have nothing to say. It's catching a rat. So. Like I said, for battle, it's not really that great of a Pokemon, but it has other practical uses, and that's what I'm going to be using it for. Uh, one, two, three, yeah. So we caught ourselves a lot of Let's see here. Bites anything on when it attacks. Small, very quick. It's a common sight in many places. Alright. Oh. Oh yeah, um. Right, so that's poison. <laughs> I thought one of my Pokemon was poisoned there. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I guess I'll go and heal all the Pokemon Center because well just because, you know. Okay, so we made it back to Ver I almost said Vermilion City. Vermilion City. Um, let's check out some of these other houses. I don't know. Hi, do you have a Spiro? Wanna trade it for my far fetched? That is a far fetched well. I didn't get it yet, but Farfetch'd is a horrible Pokemon. It has low stats. There is a bunch of other flying types that's much better. And it's just not good. Farfetch'd isn't. I'm getting my Pidgey to fly. What is Saffron in the North? <laughs> Let's see what this is. Dear. Pippi, I hope to see you soon. I heard Saffron has problems with Team Rocket. Vermillion appears to be safe. Huh. There's problems with Team Rocket. But yeah, Firefight there is bad Pokemon. Don't take it. Anyway, this is one of what I wanted to use my Rattata for. I should probably get some... Well, I have plenty, but... 
This is what I wanted to use my Rattata for. Um, remember that ATM we got cut? Well, this is an ATM. It stands for Hidden Machine. <laughs> Rattata learn cut. Basically, hidden machines allow you to, um, you know, get past certain obstacles, like this skinny tree. Like so. Like so. Yeah, there are other ATMs, but I didn't, I didn't really like ATMs because... See, I mean, if we just cut down a skinny tree there, I mean, do we not have, like, power tools or chainsaws or something from that? <laughs> I mean, there are there are other ATMs which are understandable that you need Pokemon for, but so yeah, you know, Vermilion City Pokemon Gym literally tended to search. Well, I mean American, America. I'm oh, wonderful. But what makes ATMs even worse for me is that you can't uh, really replace them. I mean, once ATMs are on there. I mean, once they're on there, they can't be replaced so easily. So let's say I wanted my I wanted this Rattata to learn Super Fang or something. I can't replace Cut. I have to replace one of these other attacks. That's why I'm not using any of my other Pokemon for that. No. There is a way you can remove HM moves from your Pokemon, but it's kind of far off. So that's why I recommend you catch a Rattata or something want a Pokemon that you're not going to use on your team. So, whatever, here we go. This is the Mer Vermilion City Gym. Yo, champ in the making. Lieutenant Surge had a nickname. People refer to him as the Lightning American. He's an expert on the electric Pokemon, bird water type. Pokemon match poorly against the electric type before be a paralysis too. Lieutenant Surge is very cautious. He's locked himself in, so it won't be easy getting to him. Oh boy, and then there's just this guy. Um, but yes, this gym is an electric type gym. Excuse me, there's no place for kids, not even if you're good. Hey, 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 I got this. But this is electric type gym, right? Water types. Oh, he's using a Pikachu then. Water types and um, flying type Pokemon, bird type Pokemon, will be bad if you bring them here. So, mm. and that is Pikachu's ability. They're static. Basically, the same as that Poison Point ability that the um, that the Nidorans have. It has a 30% chance of paralyzing you when you make physical contact with it. So, that can be annoying. And Seismic Toss. This move... I believe this move... Gravity fed through that causes damage, matching the user's, user's level. Yes. This move will... do damage like... say that, um... A camera right now is uh, level 26. It'll do 26 damage always to the opposing Pokemon. So it can be it can be good or bad in some situations, but I guess I'm gonna learn it. Play Fury Swaps on like Fury Swaps so much. But yeah, if you now the reason they say bird type Pokemon in there. Wow, surprise me! The reason that they say bird type Pokemon in there is that I think in the original Game Boy games, flying type Pokemon like Pidgey and uh, Spearow were called bird type Pokemon. And yeah, they still call them. You know. Where is my. I should probably buy more of these too. <clears throat> Lieutenant Surgeon saw the traps in the gym himself. He set up double locks everywhere. Let me give you a hint. When you open the first lock, the second lock is right next to it. 
Ugh. I'll get into this game to puzzle along a little bit. I'm a lightweight, but I'm good with electricity. That's why I joined the gym. But yeah, flying types are also not good on electric types because I guess, I don't know, when birds are like shocked, <laughs> when birds like sit on power lines or something, they get like shocked and yeah. That was a Voltorb pure electric type just like Pikachu. This is a Magnemite. It's an electric steel type. Steel type is an is a type we haven't seen yet. It basically resists almost everything. So it's a pretty defensive type. Um that Magnemite that Pokemon Magnemite was actually not a steel type. It was a pure electric type in the um, original Game Boy games, and when Gold and Silver was introduced, when I was in the army, Lieutenant Serge was a strict CEO. He was our hard taskmaster. Taskmaster. Well, but yeah, um, Magnemite was pure electric like type. Um, steel types did not exist in the original Game Boy games, as well as this other type called the Dark type. So yeah, and when Pokemon Gold and Silver for the Game Boy Color were introduced, Steel types and Dark types were also introduced. Um, up until Pokemon X and Y, Magnemite was the only Pokemon that was one type in one generation and he changed types in the next generation. Sounds pretty cool. Of course, in Pokemon X and Y, a bunch of po a new type was introduced, uh, called the fairy type. But that's in Pokemon X and Y, that's not in this game. Oh. Uh, So we're gonna buy a few more of these. Well, we don't need that much, do we? And, uh, we beat all three of the trainers in the gym. And um, we're gonna solve the puzzles. Now, this gym introduces puzzles in these uh, gyms. See, what you have to do is that there is two switches. See, see this electric field right here? It's not easy to win that door. Lieutenant Search was always famous for his cautious nature in the army. Hmm. Okay, I'll talk. Lieutenant Serge said he hid door switches inside something. So what's going to happen is there's two door switches in these trash can looking things. And um, you have to find the switches to disable this electric field. Now the catch is that once you find one switch, you have to find the other switch like right after you find the first one. Or else the puzzle will be done. So, just check every one of these. And we found one switch. And that, this guy said that once you find one switch, the other one will be right next to it. So I kind of got lucky here because that means that because none of these are it said that none of those are has a switch then that means that this one what oh. I 
Okay. Well, the game lied to me. Uh, this one? Mm. Okay, well, that's weird. The game lied to me then. door open so now we have access to the back of the gym by the way I guess a uh, little trivia you can see the gym badge like above this gym leader there like you see that sunshine looking thing up there that's the gym badge so I guess we can save if I really need to because I'm so overpowered <laughs> but Hey kid, what do you think you're doing here? You won't live long in combat, not with your puny power. I tell you, kid, electric Pokemon saved me during the war. They zap my enemies into paralysis. Paralysis. I'll do the same as you. <laughs> Whatever. This is Lieutenant Sir. Electric type leader. Um, usually electric types are really fast. And sometimes they're really good and special attacking. So you want to be careful there. And I'm going to completely wreck these guys. <laughs> well, geez, I completely like curb stomped my rival back then. Back on the cruise ship. Oh, and this is a Raichu. Of all form of Pikachu, I oh. And this is double team, it raises e its evasiveness. That move is very annoying. And there's Danik. This Raichu. Pikachu evolves into Raichu uh, through this item called a Thunderstone. The, that is an evolutionary item. We will get to those later. And uh, man, he's going down. Akira's going down. Um, I. Actually, I got this. Shockwave never misses, so. And he's using a super person. Oh. Oh, and that's Thunder Wave. <laughs> it can. It paralyzes a target. <clears throat> really annoying move right there. Um. This could be bad. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. I think I've won. Barely. <laughs> Barely? Well, what you missed? Are you kidding? Oh, well, he does have the double team thing. Thank you. Lieutenant Surge is done. Now that's a shocker. You're the real deal, kid. Fine then, take the Thunder Badge. The Thunder Badge cranks up your Pokemon's speed. It also lets your Pokemon fly lightning quick anytime, kid. Yeah. Fly, that's another HM move. Well, a very useful HM move. TM34 can do Shockwave, teach it to the electric Pokemon. Cool. Like I said, Shockwave never misses, so that's good. I guess we never, uh. 
Woo, that match was electric. Oh, okay, that was kind of lame. A little bit. <clears throat> so now we are done uh, with the gym. We are done. I don't want to say that. Hello, man. How are you doing? Did you meet the other aide? Please go look for him. Okay. <clears throat> so now we're done with the um the Vermilion gym. And I think I'm gonna um actually keep recording like I did the last video. Okay, so yeah. We're gonna go over here. Yeah, we're to open the Diglett's Cave. <laughs>